Hello everyone. In today's video, we will be doing a case study based question from the chapter Arithmetic Progression for class 10. So the question goes like this. Aditya is celebrating his birthday. He invited his friends. He bought a packet of toffees or candies which contain 120 candies. He arranges the candy such that in the first row there are 3 candies. In the second there are 5 candies and in the third there are 7 candies and so on and total 120 candies are there. So the first row 3, second row it is 5, third row it is 7. So this forms an arithmetic progression and the sum of the candies okay we don't know how many rows are there it is equal to total 120 candies are there. So here A that is first term is 3. Common difference that is D. D means A2 minus A1. Second term minus first term. 5 minus 3 is 2. So the common difference is 2. And third term is 7. And sum of N terms. We don't know how many rows he has arranged. But sum of n terms here given as 120. So this is the data. Now we will find out what is the question. Find the total number of rows of candies. That means we have to find out n. How many rows he has arranged. So we can write the formula Sn equal to sum of first n terms of AP equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So total 120 candies are there. How many rows he has arranged we don't know. That we have to find out. So n we have to find out. n by 2 first term is 3. Again n minus 1 common difference is 2. So 120 equal to n by 2 into 6 plus n minus 1 into 2. You can take outside 2. So 120 equal to when you take outside 6 plus first open the bracket 2 n minus 2. Okay. So which is equal to 120 equal to n by 2 into this we can write as 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 plus 2 n. So 120 equal to n by 2. I am going to take outside 2 which is equal to 2 plus n. So if you take outside and cancel this. Now this forms a quadratic equation. 120 equal to 2n plus n square. Now we can write as. So we can write as n square plus 2n minus 120 equal to 0. You can solve this by splitting the middle met, splitting the middle term or you can use the quadratic formula also. So you should find two numbers such that product should be 120 and sum should be 2. You can easily find that it is 12 plus minus 10. So 12 into minus 10 is minus 120. So the factors are n plus 12 and n minus 10. So value of n will be minus 12 and n equal to plus 10. So total number of rows is 10 rows are there. Next question, how many candies are placed in last row? So total n rows are there. So the question can be reframed as how many candies are placed in 10th row? So how many candies are placed in last row? We need to find out a 10, 10th term. And we know a n formula is a plus n minus 1 into d. a 10 will be a plus 10 minus 1 into d. So 10th term the formula is a plus 9 d. So we know a is 3, d is 2. So 3 plus 18. 10th term will be 20. 1. So 10th term is 21. 21 candies are placed in the last row. Next question. Find the difference in number of candies placed in 7th and 3rd row. That means we need to find A7 minus A3. 
a7 is a plus 6d a3 is a plus 2d because the nth term formula is a n is a plus n minus 1 into d. If you want 7th term, put 7 in the place of n. So, it is a plus 6d minus a minus 2d. a and a cancel. 6d minus 2d is 4d. Value of d is 2. So, which is equal to 4 into 2 and so it is 8. So, the difference in number of candies placed in 7th and 3rd row is 8. Next question. If Aditya decides to make 15 rows, then how many total candies will be placed by him with the same arrangement? So, meaning of the question is we have to find out S15. So, total number of candies that has to be placed in the 15 rows. So, it's S15. We know Sn formula is n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So, S15 equal to 15 by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. n is 15. We can write 15 by 2 into first term is 3. n is 15. 15 minus 1 and common difference is 2. So, 15 by 2 equal to 15 by 2 into 6 plus 14 into 2. So, 15 by 2, 6 plus 14 twos are 28. So, we can cancel this 15 by 2 into 34 when you cancel this is 17 and 15 into 17 is 225 candies so 225 candies will be placed by Aditya in 15 rows and the last question find number of candies in 12th row so number of candies in 12th row is a12 equal to a plus n minus 1 into d a plus 12 minus 1 into D which is equal to A plus 11 D. Again first term is 3. Common difference is 2. So 3 plus 22 which is equal to 25. So number of candies in the 12th row is 25. So in today's video we have seen a case study based question from the chapter arithmetic progression. So here mainly we have used two formulas. First is nth term of AP that is A plus N minus 1 into D and the next one we have used is sum of N terms of AP which is equal to N by 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 into D. So, thank you for watching my video.